Bjorn is back, pretending to be a journalist from Iceland who tries climbing for the very first time. He will start off looking like a beginner, but his progression will be incredible. And this video was recorded the day after the first video, so this is before Bjorn got famous on YouTube. And this time we're in a new location and with a new climbing coach, and her name is Sophia. But before we meet her, let me introduce you to my and Bjorn's favorite nutritional drink and sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. So I've been drinking AG1 for a little bit over a month now and I can say that this is truly more than just a greens powder. As part of my morning routine, I take either one scoop or one travel packet in 250 milliliters of water. The best part of taking AG1 is that I know that my body gets all these extra nutrients that it otherwise wouldn't have. The taste is great and it has no added sugar, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, or sweeteners. AG1 has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and adaptogens. And it is packed with superfoods, including magnesium, which is is really good for recovery and if you're looking to improve mental clarity ag1 vitamins and minerals are great for a well-functioning nervous system and strong immune system and fun fact alex honnold is one of the investors which i think gives the company even more credibility because i know that alex would not invest in a company that he did not believe in so if you want to try it out for yourself go to athleticgreens.com forward slash magnus and you will even get a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs. Thank you, Athletic Greens, for sponsoring this video. I'm Sophia. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm Bjorn. Sophia, was it? Yes. Sophia. This is my first time climbing ever. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. Do you have a lot of experience? Yeah, I've been climbing for like five or six years. Oh, wow. Um, and I grew up on a youth team. Wow. So I. So what's like the highest wall you've ever climbed? Um, I do a lot of bouldering, so not okay. a ton of tall wall climbing. What do you reckon I start with around? Um, well, what, I would what? say we should probably do a little bit of a warm up first. So we could start with a V0 over here. Mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure you're chalking up. Yeah, you're good with that. And then first basic tips, you want to use your toes. That's the purpose of having the the climbing shoes mm -hmm. that have like the tighter toes. You want to use your toes on the hold rather mm -hmm. than your hold foot. Nice. So try and keep your feet on the blue ones. Yeah, there we go. And you want to try and keep your hands on the blue ones too. Yeah, nice. And then just get both hands on that last blue. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, good job. What do I do now? So you can down climb a little bit. So use any of the holds to come down. And then from there, you can just jump and land in like a squat or roll back. Yeah, so I can quickly go over the two different ways we usually fall. When you get to the top, we usually down climb some bit so that you're not like jumping from the mm. very top. And then you either land in like a squat mm -hmm. or you land in like a roll. Okay. So you'll just roll back onto your back with your arms inside. Yes. You don't want to land with your arms straight and you mm. don't want to land with your knees straight. Okay. Yeah. So that nice. was good. It seems a little counterintuitive, but you want to use your legs as much as possible. Mm. So you want to kind of lead with your feet and bring your feet up before you bring your arms up so you can push with yeah. your legs so your arms don't get as tired. Okay. So this was a V0, right? Yes. What is... What is the hardest in climbing here, in, in this we year? We have V9s, I believe, mm. is the, the highest we have. What should I uh, try next? Pink one over here is pretty mm -hmm. good. It's going to be a little bit harder since it's a V1 and it's on that inclined wall. Yes. So you want to remember that you're going to be bringing your feet up, mm -hmm. pushing with your legs. And what, what, what would you say is good for like a first timer to climb on the, on the first day ever? Um, climbing. Usually sticking with like V0s and V1s. But what would be like really impressive, you think? Um, I'd say like a three or a four, but on it kind first of- time, first time. Yeah, I mean, it kind of depends on like your strength level. Mm -hmm. um, some of the stronger people that come in that are like super strong are mm. able to kind of just like muscle through a okay. lot of the harder climbs. Yes. Um, but honestly, I guess I'd say when I bring like my friends to climb, we get up to like ones and twos usually. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Where is the powder? The oh yeah, it's over here. Yeah, so start with both hands on the first tag hold, yeah, and then get your feet up on the wall. And then you're going up. Nice. Nice. 
You got that. Nice. Now keep bringing those feet up, yeah? And this one's gonna be a big move, so swing with your hips. Nice. Keep bringing those feet up. A little bit lower maybe with the right foot. You what, have the, right, right, below? right below your right foot, you have one like directly below it. That one's gonna be a little bit easier. The pink one. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So for this time, you're gonna try and reach the top. So there's a lip of the top of the wall. So bring your feet up a little bit. You got it. Nice. Nice job. And then you can either down climb or you can just jump down. If you're not comfortable coming down on the pink, you can climb across the top of the wall and come down on the gray. Nice. And then you can just jump down. Perfect. So that felt harder? Yes, a lot harder. Yeah. When you have those bigger moves, yeah. um, you want to use your hips. That's going to be really helpful so like, to swing okay. over to the side. You can even like swing once and then go the second time so you uh -huh. gather a little bit of momentum. That's okay. called like, a dynamic movement. Mm. This pink one could be another good one. Okay. Um, it's got some pretty big holds that are called jugs. So jugs so is good. Then. Yeah, they're pretty easy to grab usually. Mm. Um, this one is more of a, like you're going to go side to side. So oh. it's going to be more of a technique based one. Yes. Um, where you need to make sure you're moving your feet over and you don't leave your feet behind. Mm. So sometimes people climb and they start bringing their hands mm. over to the side and they don't bring their feet over. Mm. So you have to make sure you lead with your feet. Could you show me how this is done, you yeah. think? Yeah, for sure. Nice. Nice. Wow. Yes! That looked way too easy. So try and keep those feet on pink. That black one, yeah. There we go. You got that. Nice. I touched the ground a little bit, but... That's okay. I'm gonna keep going. The point is to get to the top, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. That next one's really good. Nice. <laughs> so you want to try and keep bringing There's no your grip up. left in my eye. Form. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call get, getting pumped. Pumped. I usually use those muscles for typing, not for climbing. So yeah. <laughs> I used to this. Maybe try a different one. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if I like jugs. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay, so they told me I should ask for the highest boulder because we want some spectacular uh, shots. Because like the they tallest think it, wall, you mean? Yes, because they think it's a little bit uh, too low. Got it's you, not got so you. dramatic, you know, for the got for the you. film we're making. Okay, um, I'd say, I say it's we're, we're, this the, one? we're the fourth largest in Iceland. Right. So we're pretty big. Yeah. Okay. So we want something dramatic. So maybe that wall. Yeah. I think with a little bit of coaching, I could be able to do V3 today, you think? Yeah. Yeah. There's some good ones over here. I think mm. you'll excel probably at like the slab that's mm. a little bit more technique based. You think I'm a so, technical type of climber? I more? can see that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure I climb the highest one, you know? Yeah. Um, so I can brag about it to my colleagues <laughs> back at work, you know? So now we're going to climb the highest uh, route in here. We're going to try this red. Yes. Um, don't forget to chalk, chalk up a little bit. This one's also going to have some big moves, but also some smaller holds. Mm -hmm. So be careful with your hand placement. That's what you want to try and be as exact as possible when you're reaching. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to adjust your hands once you've already mm -hmm. grabbed the hold. Those next three are super good. Bring those feet up. Nice. You just got to finish on that last red hold. Stand up on that left foot. Nice. Both hands on that red. Nice. Made that look easy. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Thank you. Maybe uh, something higher. Okay. I have a friend who did this for the first time and he said he did, I think it was V3, Frederick did. Yeah. last time yeah. and he was bragging a lot about it so i want to beat him you know got you got or at you. least do a v3 so okay. maybe if you could find the softest v3 um, in the gym this green v3 is pretty good 
Um, you're going to get your hand up here. You're going to grab this one with both hands. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have to bring a high left foot. Okay. So you're going to have your right foot here and your left foot here. Mm. And you're going to press over. Wow. Can I hold it like this? You can, but that'll probably make it a little bit harder. Yeah. So this one might be easier to grab the other way. Grab it like a under. Ah. Yeah. It's called an under cling, where you grab it under like that. Mm. Nice. And then around. Yeah. There we go. Pull into the little knob. Yeah. Nice. Okay, you're going to want to, you can reach up to that next one if you can reach it. Yeah. So that big one that you tried to grab is more of a foot. Um, you also want to make sure you're bending into your knees and like mm. moving your hips. Because awesome. um, you were a little like straight. Maybe and a little that's bit stiff make maybe. It, yeah. So you can probably reach up to that. There we go. Yeah. Bring your foot up and then go up to that next one. Yeah, ah. there we go. That one's going to be better. So now you're going to stand up on that left foot. Nice. Okay, now you're going to have to bring your right foot up to where your right hand is. So stand up on your left foot, pull yeah. in with your left hand. You got that. Nice. And go up and grab that next one. Nice. And then just grab the top. Yeah, nice job. Nice. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you. Oh. Did your first V3. Was it V3 that Frederick did? Yeah. This four is pretty doable. If you I actually don't like Frederick. <laughs> this V4? Yeah. Which one? It's this pink one. It's kind of a weird start. Mm. So you can kind of balance this way first and then just yeah. come and tap. I'm not very strong. Yeah. Yeah, so put your hand against the wall uh, and then just come and tap. Okay. And then come back out here and you can grab this one. Uh -huh. And then you're not pushing on just one arm mm. anymore. Yeah, and then you want to, you have to tap the start hold. That's going to be the tricky part. No. Yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe let's find, find another a different one. one. Yeah. yeah. So how do you get rid of all this powder? This like powder you everywhere. Just wash your hands. Wash my hands. Mm. <laughs> it all it all comes out. It doesn't okay. like stain or anything. Right, right. We orange try one. Try this orange. It's gonna require a lot of finger strength because mm. the holds are not as great. Okay. We can try it. Yes. You want to get your foot out right. There you go. And you're gonna reach up to that first one. Nice. Nice. Now you're going to have to stand up and bring your feet up. Shake your arms out. Yeah, that's going to help. So you're still using your arms a lot. You want to really okay. bend into your knees and use your legs because that's going to give you more power. Yeah, and then you're going to bump your right hand. So you're going to go with your right hand. Nice. You have a foot a little bit higher than the one that your right foot's on. You have a little chip. Yeah. You're going to have to stand up. Nice. Now this is going to be a cross. So you're going to have to cross with your right hand over. Yeah, it's going to be hard to grab that one with your left hand. So you're going to have to bend into your left leg and pull with your... There we go. Nice. Keep bringing your feet up. And you're going to... Yeah, there we go. Uh, you got that. Uh, you can bring your foot over to the little one on the right. Uh, over here. You have a foot right there. Uh, nice. And now you just got to grab the top. Go for it. You got it. Nice! Oh. Or just Take that, it. Frederick, you piece of shit. Yes. Nice job! That was awesome! Thank you. How are your forearms oh, I feeling? like jelly. <laughs> well, I'm very surprised that I could climb this high wall. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Maybe try something a little bit higher. Higher? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is maybe five meters or something, you'd say? I have no concept of like yeah, okay. height, so I would not be helpful on that one. So that's not what the, the four is for? It's not four no. meters or anything? No, okay. the four is going to tell you that it's like the fourth hardest grade we have, or okay. fifth hardest grade we have. If there was one thing that I should improve on for the next, what, what is it? What, where, I what am I doing wrong? 
the main thing would be remembering to bring up your feet and use your legs. Okay. You're still using your arms a lot. Okay. Um, and that's why you're so tired. Yes. It feels counterintuitive when you're like, okay, I have my hands on this hole. I need to reach to the next yes. one. Let me pull in. But mm. if you have your feet high and you push, okay. you get the same distance yes. and your arms don't get as tired. You know, I used to do gymnastics 10, 15 years ago. So there's still some of that strength in me, I think. That's yeah. why I'm using my... For sure. Yes. Yeah. So maybe a V5 then? A V5, okay. Let's find one. Let's find a soft see. one, please. <laughs> I don't know if we have any soft V5s in here. Let's see. We could try this pink one. I don't it's know why the one. theme is pink today. Um, it looks like the, the big rips, big stones yeah, on so the wall. Yeah, so the thing is, you see how there's the, t the ones on top? Mm. Those are blocking those good grips. Oh. So it's going to require a lot of precision mm. um, to get your hands in the right place. Mm. But if you look on the holds where the chalk is, mm. like the wider parts, that's where you want to grab because ah. that's where everybody else has grabbed and been successful. Mm. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. So you probably want to go up right hand first. Okay. This one's considered a foot, so you can use it, but mm. it's going to be really hard to grab. Is there something that I can tell myself while climbing that you'd... Um, like pain is temporary. I mean, that powers, works, definitely. Powers forever. Um, yeah. Powers forever. Nice. Now go out left. Nice. You got that. Now can you bump up with your left hand? Nice. Bring your feet up. Bump up with your right hand. Nice. <coughs> you got that. Yeah, nice. <coughs> nice job. You got that. Get your feet back on. Nice. That next one's going to be small, but it's good. This is good? Yeah, you can use that one. Nice, nice. Hold it. You got it. Okay, now you just gotta reach the top. Oh. Nice. Oh. Walk your hands along the top and then there's some gray holes uh. that you can use. Nice job. How did that feel? I don't know, it felt a little bit harder than the V4, I guess. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay, you're a good coach though. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm gonna tell Frederick I did a V5. <laughs> He's gonna be really pissed. Maybe a V6? Or is okay. that... I mean, you could always try. There's I no harm in try. trying, right? Yes. Have you seen a beginner try, try V6 before? Not really, I don't think. Let me find a high V6 so it looks dramatic yeah. for the film. Because the thing Not is bad. now, I felt a lot looser when I climbed. Yeah. I was using my feet more, like you said, mm -hmm. and it really helped me. Yeah. Because I do have some of that upper body strength from doing gymnastics, I think. Mm -hmm. So that is applicable to the climbing, as long yeah. as I use my feet, right? Yeah, if you're mm. using your feet, that'll help a lot. That's mm. going to be harder on these angled walls because your feet are pulling out. So mm. you have to engage your core mm. to keep your feet in on the wall. Just a little break though. Yeah, please. take a break <laughs> for sure. Often when you see climbers down here, you, they like give an attempt or two and then mm. they're chatting with their friends for a couple minutes. Like climbing is not a go, go, go mm. sport. But usually. isn't that just laziness though? No, no? it's t giving your arms a break so you can mm. give it you're all in for gymnastics every time. we had no breaks so yeah we were just going that's true going 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 yeah nice 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 you got it nice this next one's gonna be a big move but the lip is good nice bring your feet back in yeah you can use that Nice. That next one, you're going to go right hand. Now left hand to this next one. You're going to pull sideways with it. So turn your Where's hips. the top? The, you got to go right first. You see those right holds? You're going to grab the very top of the wall, but you got to get those last two reds. So can you... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that works too. That was scary. This one, they end a lot of moves like that where you like have to kind of jump yes, to the Yes, because I was part. looking at that next stone and it was so small, I could not. Yeah. But this is a lot of fun though. I was, uh, yeah. It's really fun. It's really fun. So what is the next one then? 
We could try a seven. I don't know if they even have any seven set over there. We could also try a comp one. You seem to be a little bit more comfortable with like the jump. Hmm. I mean, it wasn't comfortable, obviously, yes. but. Um, it was scary. We could also look in the cave over here. Marcus, but this is going to be. What do you think? Is that one, that's that wall, do you think that looks more impressive for the cameras? More impressive, okay. Yeah, I think this will be cool, especially yes. if you get like a, from the side. Okay, so there's no sevens on this wall. There's a couple sixes if you want to try another six. Mm. Um, or there's a nine, but the nine is really, really hard. The nine is really, really um, hard. Yeah. I could just try it though. If, uh, you could try if you want, yeah. Mm. So they're like flat, so you can't really grab into them. Mm. That one is a jug right there, but the rest of these are crimps. So you're going to grab them like mm. open hand or bring your thumb up. Mm. Yeah, there's not much on them though. Have you ever seen a beginner climb B9 before though? No. no. <laughs> Definitely not. <coughs> nice. <coughs> nice. <coughs> nice. It's going to be a big next move. <coughs> yeah, what can I use this for something? Yeah, so you can Maybe switch feet like if this. you want. Yeah. This is good. Uh. Uh. Nice. Oh. oh my goodness. You made that look very easy. <laughs> Are you sure you're not a climber? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, I've been a professional climber for 15 years. Okay. Is, uh, <laughs> I was going to say. We're just tricking you. <laughs> when did you figure it out though? Um, probably like the six. The six? So yeah. it took you that long? It took me a while. I had a feel, I was starting to get a feeling when, because you did a really good job of like, yeah. not using not, your knowledge at the beginning. Yeah. And uh, sorry about what I said about gymnastics and uh, climbers being lazy. That was uh, obviously a joke. Do you know who he is? No, I don't. No. We were uh, trying to go undercover, but I guess we didn't have to. I dyed my hair. Oh my and gosh. And the mustache and everything is for this. Wow. Yeah. I enjoyed putting on makeup for once. And I can't wait to get rid of this mustache. I've been saving for over a week. Oh my gosh. Just for this. You did a really good job of laughing when it was like pain and temporary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hiding behind the camera. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's so hard around like d5 v6 you have to actually start climbing a little bit so yeah i guess it's time to shave off the mustache finally it's itching like crazy 